Well Steve, obviously redevelopment to Fratton Park was announced only the other day and we can see that work's already taking place. What exactly is going on? So the Upper North is due to be reseated um, and will be ready for the coming season along with significant electrical works in the infrastructure and then we move down to reprofiling the Lower North probably in January. So you can see now the seat's being stripped out ready to be reseated which they should arrive mid-July. Typically it'll take three weeks to seat 3,400. So really we can do about 1,100 a week, 1,150 a week. But we've got other issues in here. If we go up to the top here, there's a barrier here that's not compliant. So we have to put one, two, three, four, seven new safety barriers throughout the stand which then will make the upper north fully compliant with new regulations. So as we move through the stands, we achieve what they call a physical safety PS value. Fratton Park currently has various PS values, but the intention is to make every stand one, which is full capacity. And then obviously it's looking at the, the south stand, and I think after that, the, the Milton end as well. That's sort of the, the end game here. Yeah, the south stand is unique, as in it's got the lower section that we need to take out. Um, but we will be reprofiling from the existing upper down to pitch side, um, which will enhance the seats over that side dramatically, along with new concessions and the upper and the upper south being reseated as well. Um, but in both instances, the concessions and DDA will be enhanced, so the fans' experience will be completely changing, but year on year, not instantly. So here are the various seat options that we went with. This is typical to Fratton Park and it's been used stadium wide, albeit in blue. Um, and within four years, the whole lot should be reseated every, every stand. Yeah, and in terms of that fan experience, I think, you know, one of the key things, you, you see a lot of work that's been planned for the, for the North Stand Concourse. Is that something that's really going to enhance their experience? Yeah, one thing during COVID, it, it become apparent that the milling spaces in Fratton Park or the concourse area, which sets the capacity, was woefully weak so we've increased the the milling area and concourse areas which probably won't happen for start of the season but certainly mid-season the fans will see upper concourse areas which they can enjoy more so in here you can see the extent of the rewiring going on and then the intention is to strip out all the concessions and make them open plan which is more street food carts as opposed to the formal bays that exist which are pretty much dated in seasons in stadium, sorry. Then we go outside and you can see now how we're going to extend the concession areas for the upper north. So the wall up here removes and we're extending the concession areas through three bays across, which is the maximum distance of 11 metres back to the fire escape. That will increase the milling spaces and the concession areas where people can have a drink, beer, etc. The remainder, you can see the extent of the north stand rewiring going on all the cable trays. So this stand will be completely rewired infrastructure as well uh, all with LED lights going throughout and something that we always say when we have our chats with you Fratton Park being an old stadium it sort of brings up quite unique challenges sometimes isn't it? Oh, the, the challenges this year have, have been off the Richter scale insofar as it took us nearly four weeks to choose a seat so every stand has got a different pitch to it or what we call C value and the seat performed differently in every stand. So finding a seat that would be consistent throughout the stadium was tough. Um, but we've got there. But the stadium will continue to throw up different problems in each stand. So this is one of the existing turnstiles, of which there are two left in the ground, both in the north. Uh, there is a third, but, but it's a Baffin Milton Rovers in use. But these will be put over to the History Society to be refurbished and retained. What you can see here is we're moving some of the turnstile arrangements on to create more spaces again for milling. So we've grouped the turnstiles in various areas now. This has happened twice in the north stand, which provides probably an extra 20 square metres of concession area for people to use. Any ideas in terms of time frames, just sort of roughly? So the north will be completed during the 21-22 season. We will then start the Lower South next summer, close season, with the TV gantry likely to follow, and then the Upper South during the season, heading on to the Milton end in year three stroke four. 
And I suppose, you know, one thing to make clear is that this does represent significant redevelopment and, and significant investment as well. It does, yeah. I mean, I think I read an article in the paper where a fan said we get an extra thousand in capacity for, for 10 million. In reality, that's not the truth because we would face capacity reductions. But it is a significant amount of money.